Hello guys and welcome to a brand new video. Today I'm here with Saiki Kuso no Sainan episode number 5 and 6 reaction. Alright, the previous episode we met, um, I think two, yeah, two more new characters. The first character that we met was Chono Ruksha or Chono Ruksha. <laughs> and uh, he, he was like a person who does magic tricks. We got to know his little backstory and how he kind of messed up by the end of uh, his tricks and uh, psyche you know was there to point that out like you know the pigeon was almost uh, not pigeon sorry the dove was almost uh, going to die and he, you know uh, like you told uh, like you know like made him aware of that and uh, yeah they became kind of friends you could say and we also saw him later on in um, a tv show where he was in a pinch you know in in, in the in the, in the magic trick that they were going to do psyche thought he was in a pinch but he was not uh but psyche went and like went to help him out because his tv show would otherwise be um you know would not would, they would have a problem in the, like in airing the tv show if something happened to him so he went and tried to save him and he saw that everything's fine but since he can read minds the the TV show did get spoiled to him and that was a sad situation because he like you know he can listen to everyone's thoughts so the TV show in itself was something that he really was like you know anticipating and was really waiting for because he doesn't get you know doesn't get spoiled from a television but unfortunately he got spoiled there and uh, yeah a few other things happened they went to the beach with um what was the name Nendo Nendo yeah Nendo and the others and uh, then later on we go to uh, the, the cemetery yeah and to like you know like Nendo went there to bring some offerings for his uh, dad and uh, here Psyche gets to get a glimpse of Nendo's dad uh, who looks completely like him this the scar position is only different that's the only difference that they have and that was the, first, the episode number three episode four brings us another new character his name is Reita Toritsuka, I think, yeah, and uh, he is like a medium, and uh, you know, ghosts. He can see ghosts and everything, and uh, you know, like, there are some hilarious interactions where we kind of get to see his actual inner feelings as why, like you know, what he wants to do after learning. He wants to become um, Psyche's uh, disciple, <laughs> and then he gets transferred to the school that Psyche goes to, and here we get to see that. He can see guardian spirits and his guardian spirit is Nendo's dad <laughs> which is kind of funny you know I don't know how Nendo's dad became his guardian spirit I'm sure we'll get to know in the future and then there was that other section where um, the, that girl uh, Yumehara I think that was his her name uh, you know she and her boyfriend had like a problem and Psyche tried so much to patch them together again but unfortunately in the end it didn't work <laughs> <laughs> and she ran away you know that's what happened and uh, yeah let's see what happens in this episode this is episode number five yeah episode number five and uh, yeah let's start i'll be putting the subtitles on the timer here sync it to whichever is a preference and let's get started okay here's the countdown three two one go Hmm. <laughs> I, I always laugh whenever I see him turn his neck around like a snake. I think that was all the characters that we were supposed to be introduced to, like the main ones. Uh, because in the opening, I can see these few. The main characters, I guess. Like these, these ones. These are the one main characters who are going to get involved in this show. Oh. 
Oh, there's uh, still a few of them left, I think. And there's like I, another girl I don't remember getting acquainted with. And a few others. Escape using invisible suit of camouflage. All right. Okay. Another TV show. Okay. Specializer. Oh, is this like a reference? Ah. Ah, spoil spoilers. Oh no. Oh no, 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 this guy, okay. <laughs> Hide out. All right. Oh my god. Can he teleport? <laughs> oh no oh no you know what is going to happen i feel like i feel like nendo is going to ambush him wow <laughs> i feel like nendo is going to get him because his head is empty i knew it okay Cannot detect it. There you go. Yeah, I was just saying that. Like, oh, oh no, oh no, what's happening? Oh my god, <laughs> never give up. <laughs> oh my god, is he okay? Oh uh, no. Wow. Queen, the faithful love slave. <laughs> yeah. Oh no. Oh, okay. All right. Ten minutes. Oh. Oh no. Oh. Um. Ah. Yeah. True. Now you know where he is. So. Hmm. <laughs> Wow, okay, that's very convenient. Thank you. <laughs> Dark. Oh no, oh no. <laughs> oh, wow, okay, okay, move. Oh lord. Wait, he can see him. How did he... S I guess he can see ghosts and stuff, but... Oh no. Yeah! Oh my god, this poor guy. Get fired up. PK Academy Sports. Part 1. Okay, there's multiple parts. <laughs> oh no. Hmm. Wait. <laughs> Battery died. Ah, <laughs> uh, my right hand is trembling. <laughs> Wow. Oh, true.
<laughs> okay. Oh, wait. <laughs> Haru Sugiyama. Okay. Whoa. <laughs> Bonds. Okay. Wait, the battery? Oh no. Okay, come on. Damn, everyone's just. All right. Okay, he's. All right. Wait, what? Oh no. Oh no. Okay. <laughs> this this sound effect. This. <laughs> Three leg. Yeah, who are you? Hawakita. <laughs> oh my god, I think Psyche wants that life to be normal. <laughs> oh my god, I was like, what's happening? <laughs> Oh my god. I feel like he's going to lose now. Oh no, he's going to lose. Oh my god. What did you do? Oh wait, no, never mind. Okay, oh never mind. It, it, it worked pretty well. Alright, what did he get? Okay, quick. Oh? Oh no! Oh no! Wait, what was that for? I forgot. I forgot, what, what, what were these? Just a sec. What happened? Oh my god. Oh my... <laughs> Not the president. Oh, <laughs> oh is it did it put it back in? <laughs> okay. Oh my god. <laughs> Wait, what's going to happen? Oh boy. <laughs> Eliminate. Wait. Wait. Okay. Oh my god, Chono is coming.
Oke okay, oke okay. ya. Yeah. Control device. I've been able to use super. Damn. Damn. Is that a core sensor reference? Oh my god. Wrist change. These are like a uh, control. Okay, okay. All right. Okay, okay. Hmm. Yeah. Oh no. Oh no. Wait. He's not able to control it properly. Yeah. <laughs> wow, everyone's. All right. <laughs> Mr. E.K. Oh no. Yeah. Oh my god. All right, they won. There you go. <laughs> Power of friendship. <laughs> There's a monster in. Okay. Wow. Exactly, the power of friendship. Oh, no. <laughs> okay. <laughs> what? the hell is okay this guy is oh no oh my god <laughs> you are already <laughs> yeah Even him. Yep. <laughs> oh my god. Oh. Whoa, okay. Yep. <laughs> exactly. All right. Ah. Oh. Okay. Wait. Oh. Oh yeah, yeah. Th there's no rule against that, I guess. <laughs> yeah, but there's no. Yeah, exactly. Just like how Psyche did that. Five hundred. Okay. <laughs> oh my God, Kaido! <laughs> All right, there you go. Nice. Oh. 
Oh, what happened to him? <laughs> I feel like everyone's going to stop. Everyone's going to stop, I think. All right. Oh no. Oh my god. <laughs> oh wait, he did that. Yep. Oh damn. Woo! <laughs> Oh no! Oh no! Yeah. Okay, they lost. Oh my god, did, did Psyche. <laughs> <laughs> oh he looks good. Wait, we didn't lose? Oh wait. Oh okay okay okay. I need to check the the board again. So they won. Evacuation drill. Hmm. <laughs> Yeah, what are you going to do? <laughs> okay, SOS. Oh, gosh. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so what is it then? Oh, oh my god, he's... <laughs> yeah. Okay. Wow. <laughs> yeah, if this wasn't a drill. Oh my god, what is this? <laughs> SOS. <laughs> How did he get? Oh my god, this guy. Oh no. Splitting of it. Overwhelmingly awkward. <laughs> wow. All. It's on purpose. Oh. Oh. Okay, okay, okay. All right, all right. Exactly. Oh no, Hyro, you, you're messing up. Oh, I don't think so. He's gonna break it down or something. <laughs> and you died. All of them died. 
Yo! Oh. <laughs> no, you didn't. Because he's there. Oh no. <laughs> yes. Oh no, not again. <laughs> Oh my god, this is funny. Uh, the, like, the, the final section was all with SOS. And uh, I, I have to say they did a good job with the translation because what they were saying, since it's in Japanese, the initials were different. But they were able to keep the whole SOS thing going on, even with the translation. Like, nothing, I guess nothing was lost in translation in the final section because these are the sections which probably get lost in translation because of the language barrier you know like something in japanese translated into, into something else in english so the wordplay doesn't go properly most of the times so it's quite difficult you know to properly like you know like what do you call express a joke which is especially based on wordplay even after translating it from Japanese to English. Like that's the most difficult part. So yeah. Hmm. Alright. Is there anything else or is that is that's it? Okay. That was episode number five. Yeah, episode number five. All right. Um, here we begin with. Okay, where is it? Psyche wants to leave school because he wants to watch a certain show that's going to come up. And as we know, you know, like he loves television because uh, in television is the only thing which can give him like, provide him excitement uh, because nothing can get spoiled over there. So like that's why he's like so excited to go back home but there's a lot of obstacles on the way <laughs> all the friends that he made for example the first one is um Kaido he's just waiting he's like ah like let Psyche come I found a really good building and it's going to be our hideout and he's just waiting there to ambush Psyche <laughs> Kaido's like ah found a really good gym ah, <laughs> let, me, let me bring Psyche with me <laughs> <laughs> then why she's like oh my god yeah then why she's like uh, what did she say like a cafe no uh like you know a printout he he she wants to give it to psyche and she's like oh but i it's not that i am like you know especially wanting to do that it's because i want to give him a chance you know like previously he was so smitten with me that he wasn't able to properly <laughs> ask me out to tea or something so yeah i'm just giving this a chance to him it's not because i want to do it huh? typical sundres not sundre i would guess she's not a sundre she is what can i say she she's not a typical sundre she's she's a different type of a character um uh, i guess you can call her a sundre kind of but not yeah because she doesn't have that soon part but she does have the dere part, so she, she's a different type of a character and I, now that I'm realizing it. She, she doesn't fall in any type of the character archetypes. Neither a Sundre, nor a Yandre, nor a Kudre, nor a Dandre, nope. What else? She, she, she falls in, in neither of the categories. Okay, that's interesting. <laughs> Alright, anyways. um, So... And the final biggest obstacle is obviously Nendo because he cannot detect him. Nendo just comes out and is like, oh, pal, well, let's go to get, eat some ramen. And Psyche freaks out and just leaves. And Psyche's like, what should I do? She's, he's waiting in the toilet. Now, the problem here was, I was just thinking, why doesn't he teleport? But he doesn't teleport because he wants to keep the shoe, you know, in the locker. 
and uh, <clears throat> that's why he he has to actually wait he's like all right let me wait for 20 minutes and uh, see what happens but even after 20 minutes from with his clairvoyance you can see that Hiro is waiting outside um kaido is waiting in the locker to jump scare him waiting to jump scare him and uh, tenkashi is just you know like telling other people to find psyche all the people who are smitten with her and uh, yeah and then like you know all, all that's what's happening and psyche is like i cannot wait much more because if the show ends people will come out thinking about what was happening in the show and i'd get spoiled so that's why he's like, I need to go out as soon as possible because this is the time that there's no spoilers and I can go home properly. So he's like, what should I do? And he's like, all right, let's use my invisibility um, power. So his invisibility power is not like, you know, it has his fair share of troubles. First of all, um, there's a time limit, I think 10 minutes, he said, yeah, 10 minutes. And if someone uh, touches him, it's going to come out. So. <laughs> <laughs> that's the like limitation so he comes out and oh boy nendo was just <laughs> beside him he wasn't even able to detect him but he's like you know what this is good because he won't ambush me from someone else somewhere else now the biggest threat is gone so i can properly get out of this place so he little by little kind of sneaks out and <laughs> kind of messes with uh, kaido as well gives him a scare <laughs> they're like Teruhashi, all of them come running and Kaido's was like, oh, Dark Union is here. And oh boy, in the end, everything, his whole plan falls because um, uh, Reita, Reita, yeah, that's his name. He comes in and uh, it's not only that he can see ghosts, he can see anything transparent, which is kind of interesting. Like, <laughs> since ghosts are transparent and like, people cannot see them, uh, he, he can see any type of people like that. So he was able to see where Psyche is as well. All right, and then the sports festival starts, and uh, this was the three part uh, story section <clears throat> where Psyche didn't want to properly, like you know, uh, what do you call it, participate in the sports uh, day. But obviously, mom and dad was like, "Oh no, you have to do it. We are here with the video camera." But they <laughs> took each other's pictures and just. <laughs> emptied the uh, battery of it and as as we know like you know uh Hiro is like oh let's do our best like you know we can do this we can win uh like there's like a few other like you know plus class one year two class one um then class two class four okay these four and uh, <laughs> Okay, the square is where as four, Yon. All right, so, oh, class five is also there. All right. <laughs> All of them are glasses, wearing glasses. <laughs> Mr. Kitamura. Wait, an intellectual group with an astonishing 80% of them wear glasses. All right. Um, so yeah, these are the uh, teams and uh, so Hyro's like, yeah, we have to win and <laughs> The mom and dad is recording even though the battery is gone <laughs> So Psyche's like, all right, let's do this. I'm going to be very normal here. Third place sounds best So in the first uh, race, he becomes third and everyone's like, oh, what a good job These were all like, you know, in incredible player They are all members of the track and field team and these were like, you know, really good players so being third was really good and everyone's like you know like you know fussing about that and psyche is like oh my god i wish someone told that to me before <laughs> and then uh, unfortunately kaido is not able to properly win the next match and then we meet another new character here his name is okay kawakita kawakita and uh, He's like, I'm a very ordinary character with a supporting role. And <laughs> he talks about how average he is. I'll, I was born average, I'll die average. And the funny thing is, I feel like Psyche actually wants that life. He wants to be very average. But unfortunately, because of his uh, powers, he is not. He's not able to do that. So <laughs> yeah, and Teruhashi comes in and Teruhashi is like, 
is able to completely repeat the monologue that he was saying. Psyche is like, what are you an expert? Oh lord. And oh god, this guy. And you know what? I actually thought he was going to get so smitten with her that he wouldn't be able to run and they would lose automatically or something. But it actually worked uh, in a completely opposite way. He got a power boost and he just ran the whole way just carrying Tenbashi. And uh, yeah. <laughs> Alright. Um, then was uh, the scavenger hunt. Nendo goes and picks up a paper. And oh boy, I don't know what was written in the paper. But he goes and picks off the thing. Now, <clears throat> Psyche did explain that it like you know this thing actually helps to control his powers but he's not properly explained what it does but here we get a proper explanation of what those things actually are and we get to see what's going to happen if the thing is picked off from his head like you know he cannot control his power if he's taken off now you know what i do wonder who made this thing for him i'm pretty sure someone had to make this for him and all the other gadgets that he wears like you know the whole uh like you know the, the goggles that he wears and all that stuff like who made these things for him who made these uh, con these gadgets for him that can control his power i do wonder um i don't know if that will be explained in the future or it won't be but if it is explained uh it, it will be kind of nice you know like who made these gadgets for him to control his power uh, stuff like that and that would also mean that that person knows that he has these esper powers so <clears throat> Yeah, anyways, um, so yeah, that thing is taken off and <laughs> like he just goes, like, you know, completely gets knocked out. And so many things happen, you know, like, first of all, I think NASA gets involved in the whole thing and there's like, <laughs> they're like calling the president and everything. Then there's this uh, shaman or someone like that who is like, oh, the world is going to end. He's like crying. <laughs> and then, like, you know, then they put it back. And everything's fine and they're like oh it's okay like i'm probably a mistake <laughs> and like yeah this is this is the amount of danger that his power can occur so that means if taken off his power will go so much out of control that the world would be in danger uh he did explain that uh, previously uh when he was a child he wasn't able to control his power so there was a time when he was even able to lift up a whole building so that's why he made these like like you know these things that like you know he kind of uses them so that he can control his power and from that day onwards he has grown up a lot so i feel like his power is in that level where if he takes that off now it's not only like you know a building the whole world will be destroyed like that is the part where like and that is the amount of power he has now and he cannot control it so <clears throat> that's why he always needs to keep that on. Oh boy. So and since Nendo is that unpredictable person, you know, he, he just surprised him like that. Just came and just grabbed the whole thing. And he cannot read his mind, you know, that's the biggest problem here. Like if it was someone else, he would realize that, oh, like you know, they would think that I'm gonna get this from him and he could easily dodge it. But since this is Nendo, he wasn't able to even properly understand what the hell happened. He just came and just yanked it off his head. <laughs> All right. There was a little um, magic show shown by Chono Ruksha as well. Unfortunately, no one really looked like and watched it. Uh, but yeah, now he's like, uh, Psyche is like, all right, like enough is enough. I'm going to go home. I cannot control my power. His hand is shaking and everything. And he he's like, all right, let's go home. But Nendo finds him and like you know all the other friends find him and they're like oh are you fine are you okay like and if you're not feeling okay you can go home <laughs> and they're like all right you guys like you know psyche is not feeling okay let's do this for psyche we can win and everyone's like yeah we can win this let's do this for psyche and psyche's like oh my god i cannot go back now <laughs> leaving them alone <laughs> it's more difficult to leave now <laughs> like you get that feeling when someone <laughs> <laughs> when someone is just gives so much what what can you say like you know uh like expectation has so much expectation on you that you cannot leave that type of a situation it was it's like it's like oh my god they're they're doing this like so much for me i cannot just leave now and i'll be rude <laughs> so yeah 
All right, so Psycho is like, okay, let us, like, you know, like, uh, Hyrule is like, we have to win this. And, okay, wh where, where was class 3 at that moment? I think they were in the third position or something. Where is that? I, I feel like they showed the board over there. I, I don't know, I can't find it, but there was like, a, you know, like there was like a board and it was shown, I think they were in the third position or something like that. But anyways, they need to rake up points to win the whole thing. So the first one was tug of war. And oh my god, Psyche kind of gives so much power to it that it snaps. <laughs> and he tries to make it okay, but he yanks it so hard that everyone gets just flung around and they win, their class win. And this, you know what, this actually gives the, the other, uh, like, you know, Psyche's friends, they're like, oh my god, did we actually do this? And they're like, alright, we can do this then. And everyone's just like, you know, smiling and kind of snickering. <laughs> because they think it was their power. So... Oh my god, and then here, the whole problem comes in, when Hyro says that, if you lose, we'll all get bus cut. And everyone was like, yeah, we, we are going to get a bus cut. We're going to follow you, Hyro. <laughs> and Psyche's like, what the hell? Why am I getting involved in this? But then there was a bean tossing game, a bean ball tossing game or something like that it's called. And no one is able to properly do that. But Psyche is there to help them. Psyche is able to just stop the midair and put them in it. And he's like, oh, it's not written in a rule book that we cannot do this. So yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm not like, you know, going against the rules then. So class one got thirty three bags, bean bags. Class two got uh, a twenty eight. Yeah. Class three eighty three. A lot of them. And Psyche said, "Oh wait, did I? Did we do it a bit too much? We did we go overboard?" But class four was a hundred bean bags. Even Psyche was like, what the hell? How did that happen? But this guy, like, you know, the class four team leader, he used his brain or something. He used like a, a little bag to put the bean bag in and then put it all in. Like, I guess that does defeat the whole purpose of the game, but there is no rule against that. So I don't know. Still kind of weird. But okay, so even though that happened, uh, Still, the last event, the inter class relay, the last, the class in first place will get 500 points. Okay, the first point is 500 points, second place 400, 300, 200, and uh, 100. It means if we're in the first place and class 4 is on the last, we can win. Okay. Alright. So, yeah, there was a still chance and. Uh, Oh my god, what happens is uh, Kaido and the other guy, the, the one who Teruhashi you know, told to find Psyche, both of them started the race and they weren't able to do anything properly. <laughs> but Nendo, you know, like was able to like lead them uh, like, you know, in a very good way. He, he was running very fast. So he did his job. Teruhashi. Okay, yeah. Okay, I don't understand this part. Let me check out. The view of Teru Hashimoto's class team maintained their lead and finally passed the baton on to Hyro. Okay, so basically Teru Hashi also kind of dominated that because since she's so, like exuding some, like, you know, like, I don't know, some aura, everyone probably got smitten and just stopped running or something. I, I think probably something like that happened. So they were in the lead up until Hyro, where Hyro gets the baton and he falls and everyone was like oh my god he's like you know he just tripped but this this guy the guy from the green team he's like oh it's not a foul play as long as no one saw it so he tripped him and Saki's like all right so if you're doing it this way i'm also good i have a few tricks up my sleeves as well so Saki got it and Saki started running like fast speed and uh, he tripped in the end because he wasn't able to control his power so, I don't understand here, what the hell happened? He trips, class one will win, will Okay, 
I don't understand this part. Did they win or did they lose? Like, Psyche goes. Okay, so he won, I think. Their class won, didn't they? I don't know. But anyways, I, I don't understand this part. Like, who won, I don't understand. But anyways, um, so they still get their hair cut off, you know. And I have to say, what's his name? Nendo looks really good in that hairstyle. Yeah, he looks really good in that hairstyle. I don't know why. But they go to their homeroom. And he's like, good morning, guys. We had to do it if we lost against class 2, right? We beat them. Oh, class 2. It was not class 4. Oh. Oh, oh, so that means they had to win against class 2. Alright, so that's why they didn't even need to you know, get their hair cut off. So, okay. Alright, and the final section was the evacuation drill where, you know, Hyrule was like, oh, we have to, like, you know, properly do this. And then there was like, oh, why are we doing this? And Hyrule was like, nah, you have to do this because in cases of emergency, what are you going to do? <laughs> and, uh, this part was kind of funny because they were like, you know, doing the whole wordplay thing. They were talking about SOS. And here, like, here they talk about, just a sec. Oh my god, where is that part? When the alarm fire goes off, uh, follow the instructions to evacuate, evacuate to the schoolyard. He writes SOS, Menomic created by using initials for the top important considerations. Okay. Okashi. Okay. Or SOS. Osanai kakenai haberanai. Osanai. I means, I think Osanai means don't push. No. Osanai ka. Osanai, no, or it does it, okay, I think it probably means slow, like, okay, okay, yeah, it's written, slow. Kakenai, kakenai means don't run, I think, yeah. No, don't push, don't run. Shabiranai, shabiranai means don't talk. Okay, so that's how they, like, you know, do it, I think, like, in, in Japanese, that's basically it, while here in, like, you know, like, in the translation, it was S-O-S. So, Okashi or Osanai Kakenai Shabinanai. And they start making weird random sentences with them. And, like, you know, like, and I have to say that the, the English translation was also, also keeping up with that. And I like that. And <laughs> Okashi, so Nendo says, Omaira Kajide Shinuna. You guys don't die in the fire. I think that's what he says, the translation, Japanese translation. Omaira kajide shinuna o kashi like he made it on his own like you know like like his own thing <laughs> that's why psyche's like simple is the best <laughs> i was like yeah you're not wrong i guess you guys don't die in a fire or omaira kajide shinuna so he's like you're not wrong but yeah and then, <laughs> then he was like oe Kajida. Shogaki motekoi. That's another way he said that. <laughs> and okay. Kaido says something like, what does he say? Ore no kaen wa shinu made kisama ni osoi kakaru. Unfortunately, I cannot translate that. That's a bit too high level for me. <laughs> I feel like he said something like, uh, unless and until you die, it's going to keep following you or something like that in the end. Shinumade Osoi Kakaru or something like that, so. And he's like, oh, I'm just joking. And then he says the original one, Osanai Kakenai Shabeanai. 
All right, and then the bell rings and everyone's like panicking. No, no panicking. Sorry, everyone's like, all right, let's get the hoods and everything. And uh, and Hyro's helping them out. Half of them forgot their things. <laughs> Hyro's like, what the hell are you doing? If this was an original uh, emergency, what would you do? <laughs> and like the same thing Teruhashi said that, oh, I didn't bring my hood. And everyone's like, oh, you, you, you guys, like, you know, take mine, take mine. And everyone's just giving them to her. And when Hyro's like, what are you guys going to do? And they say, Ore tachi wa kanejo no tameni shineru. <laughs> For her, we can die. Something like that. That was the basic translation. Uh, o kashi. Ore wa kanejo no tameni shineru. Something like that. And <laughs> Teruha, she's like, Onegai sare nakte mo kashite kureru shimobetachi. Even if I don't say anything, uh, they're going to lend it to me, my slaves. That was the basic translation. <laughs> oh, Kashi. <laughs> oh my god. I, I love, I, I always love wordplays in animes. It, it's so fun, you know, like to actually. <laughs> and then someone's like, oh, I forgot my smartphone. I was like, oi, Takahashi. Let's kara hanarete. Doko ikida. They're doing their own thing <laughs> with the whole uh, Okashi or SOS. <laughs> Psych is like, what the hell am I hearing? Like, people are making random words out of it. <laughs> and oh my god, that part was hilarious. Where Yumehara comes in. Okay. Yumehara comes in. Okay, Yumahara says, Onaji Gakko no Kono Hito to Wakare Rek Wakari to Waker Wak. Oh my god, I cannot pronounce. Just a sec. Onaji Gakko no Kono Hito to Wakare to Kanari Kimazukte Shindoi. Okay, that was a difficult one, but uh, yeah, from the same school, if you, like this, if there's a boyfriend who you're splitting up with, that's difficult. <laughs> well, the guy was like, Omoyo hikisitteru motokano to kanzen ni chikato sareta. Like the person, the, the ex girlfriend that I have feelings for is completely ignoring me or something like that. <laughs> okay, I'll stop it now. Like there's like a few others as well. And, uh, then they're like in front of the science room and it's like there's a shutter and <laughs> the test was that they had to listen to what's happening the science room was the place where it, the fire started so they should not go there but Hyra's like oh power of friendship this is our obstacle in front of us we have to <laughs> like you know overcome this and just breaks the shutter and goes through there and Psyche said you guys were the first one who were going to die if this was a real thing <laughs> And the teacher just has gotten mad. He's like, what the hell? We just installed this new thing. And he says the last one. Omaira. Aishuni gakari ga shitteru ka. You guys know how much it costs to repair the shutter or something, he said. And Psyche's like, oh my god. Like, this is why I said that these are all useless. Because... I am here, you know, anyone who tries to do anything, you know, I'll, I'm going to like stop them. So we see like a random dude like throwing like a match and, and it was all like you know, the, the, the paper was there and it was going to catch fire and Psyche just snapped his finger and the fire got extinguished. So he's like, yep, unless and until I'm up, like, up until, the time, until the time I'm here, nothing can happen. So yeah, that was it. All right, let's start the next episode. This is episode number six. So yeah, I'll bring the subtitles and the timer here. Sync it to whichever is your preference and let's get started. Alright, here's the countdown. 3, 2, 1, go.
Wait, I saw the other character got in, in that scene that the guy with the green hair, you know, the one who Teruhashi asked for help. That guy was also there. I saw him. So he's going to be that character who Teruhashi just <laughs> asks for help. Enticing premium quality coffee jello. Oh, okay. This is a good one. Psyche is going to love this. 138 yen. Oh. Yeah, that means the quality is not good. Yeah. Okay. Want it to be quality? I don't know. Yeah. Okay. Damn. <laughs> How many? 21. True. A lot of them. <laughs> the eyes were censored. Whoa! Yo, what type of thing is that? You're the one who's going to buy it. Yep, there you go. <laughs> 55. What, what type of premium stuff is this? Yeah. It's going to come play. <laughs> yeah. Oh, people might. Yeah, it's complicated. Oh. Oh, really? Oh no! Oh, it almost got cracked. Who is this? Wait, what? Oh no! Your ball is out, out of, out of the earth. It's in outer space, floating away. Oh no. Yo. Oh my god. Oh no. Oh no. What is this? Nah, he's probably gone to. Oh, it's some water. Okay. Okay. Oh no! Oh no! His 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 coffee shell is going to. Oh no! <laughs> Poor guy. But he found it. This is late grandfather's. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Oh, did did he? Ah. 
Is he like? <laughs> yes. Okay. That was a good, good ending. In order to avoid misfortune. Fortune telling. <laughs> oh no! Wait, what? Yeah. <laughs> All right. Oh wait. <laughs> uh, a lot of people are here. Yeah. Oh my god, why is he? Wait, he <laughs> 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 Alright, let's see. This <laughs> is total cliche. Korea voice Michiko. <laughs> yeah. Oh? He's like, yeah, you're right. <laughs> wow, she knows everything what's happening. There must be some organization. She's going to say something like that. No. No, he, his face, his face. <laughs> <laughs> oh my <okay>. god. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Wait. Oh no. 10,000 yen for that? Wow. Not even 10,000. I. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god, Sai is gonna be pissed now. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what did Psyche? Oh no. Yeah. <laughs> I wonder what Psyche showed the lady that she just started ran running away. Teruhashi's biggest trial. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> Pig out. Yeah. <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> Yeah. 
Yo. <laughs> oh boy. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> okay, what what? <laughs> wow, oh my god. <laughs> the first time. <laughs> wow. I don't know. I don't think that's going to happen. Oh my god. No. No. Wow. <laughs> Yo. Okay, what is this place? <laughs> Wonder how this place looks like at night. Wow, okay. <laughs> Sixteen years as a girl. Seven billion. Oh no. Yo, what? Uh, I don't think so. Ah! Oh my god. <laughs> Even even Kaido and Nendo's like Wow Yeah they're getting delusioned Oh no Oh no the likability went down <laughs> The likability rate went up well, she did, she was able to increase his likability rate, so. Yo, is that, oh my god. <laughs> wow. <laughs> True, I guess. Okay, now this is <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> the whole guardian spirit thing oh no okay this guy needs to be stopped <laughs> yeah. Well, he can ask the ghosts. 
Oh no, the girls are fine with guardian spirits, but they get creeped by ghosts. <laughs> yeah. Oh. <laughs> Oh, no, wait, I don't know. <laughs> okay, who is this guy? Oh. Oh my God. Ah. Uh? I decline. <clears throat> True. Uh Yeah Oh no <laughs> Wow Well, at least he's... I didn't get to show up in the... Oh... Hmm... Stop the killer domino effect. Oh, the domino effect, like, one falls, then the other one falls. Wait, what? Oh! <laughs> oh my god, one Is this part of a dream? Wait It was a dream <laughs> It was a dream No, no, stop Oh. Oh, really? Oh. Okay. Okay. Hmm. <laughs> That's for our own benefit. Oh, really? What was going to happen? Oh, the domino effect. Okay. Okay, makes sense. Let's see what would have happened. <laughs> Whoa! Oh no. <laughs> oh my god. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> True. True. <laughs> yeah. 
Yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> no, no, oh no, 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 Psyche. He just threw it. I feel like something's going to happen with that stone that he threw. Oh no! Uh, yo! <laughs> Meteor. Wow. Oh my god. Yeah, you were the one who threw it. <laughs> uh, oh wow. Okay. <clears throat> wow, okay, this is good. Okay. And that was it. Okay, this episode. Um it starts with coffee jelly. Yep. <laughs> Psyche goes to the shopping mall and he's like, Alright, there is uh one uh, what was that? Like two coffee jelly with uh no, there was like a priced coffee jelly. And there was like a like you know like a pack of three the pack of three was a little bit pricier than the like you know the, the only one but it had three of them and uh, but the thing was the pack of three their weight was a little bit lower than the like you know solo one so it's, it's like usually you know like what companies do if you get like a bigger one you know it has like good quality and uh, you know like it's like bigger and everything and that's why the, it's also pricier but at the same time if there's like a pack of three pack of four pack of five usually the quality kind of deteriorates at the same time they are smaller their weight is lesser and they're not as good but they come in bulk and it gives us the illusion that oh this is better because it has more stuff in it but then, like, you know, by the end of it it all ends up in the same place you know like they're all similarly priced like <laughs> that's how it usually goes so <clears throat> he was kind of thinking about it like you know to whether to get the one which looks like a you know, more or to get the one which is like the solo ones so he's thinking he was like you know making some calculations he's like all right like i have 3000 yen you know what should i do should i get the solo ones which i can get probably th three or four of them like no how many did he say like he can get a few of them he said um like 10 10 or something yeah 10 3,000 yen 21 Yeah, he can buy 21 of them But then he's like wait a minute, uh, but if I buy the 
three pack ones i can make like and i can have like 50 of them almost so he's thinking what to do suddenly his eyes fall upon a premium coffee jelly which is like 3000 yen one of them only and it's it's quite big you know the thing is quite big but still it's like a single one of them so he's like which fool is going to you know, buy that i guess for a single one 3000 yen and he's like ah i'm the one who bought it and he has brought it and he's like all right i'm going to very carefully take this back home and he was thinking what to do like if if, if someone like you know like <clears throat> damages it or something happens so he was thinking about actually teleporting it but here he talks about a few things and one thing he talks about is uh, when he teleports something from one place to another which is he called a port uh, there's like a condition that needs to be fulfilled you need to apport a thing of sim like, you know, similar value from the like you know like from if you're teleporting one place one thing from one place to another the similar value uh, thing should be used to like you know replace it or something like that which is kind of like the whole equivalent exchange thing and uh, <clears throat> that's like the limitation that comes with this so he was thinking of all of that when suddenly a ball comes in and it almost quashes his uh, pudding uh, not pudding sorry his coffee jelly <laughs> and he sees like nendo is with that kid who was playing <laughs> so the the sad thing here is he he actually found the ball and just like you know kind of almost just i don't know he did something with his eyes and flew away and the kid was like oh this is something that my late grandfather got for me and <laughs> like this is the final one that i have and uh <clears throat> psyche is like all right like now i cannot like you know like i cannot just leave like this is something that holds emotional like you know attachment to him and uh, like the thing here is that yeah in a way psyche the the thing that he said was true like you know like that coffee jelly can be brought anytime but since it the ball itself was like an emotional has like an emotional value to him uh, that is way more um what do you call it uh, what can i say way more important than a coffee jelly so psyche is like all right fine you know like i can get a coffee jelly anytime i can buy a like you know three thousand yen coffee jelly uh, anytime as well but uh, the ball, you know, it's, it's way more pricier. So he's like, all right, let me just see where it is. It's underwater, you know, since it was underwater, he couldn't see it. And he's like, okay, let's use a port. A similar value thing is going to get replaced with this. So basically the ball is in the ocean. So a similar value thing from here, from Psyche's place is going to just replace him, like, you know, the ball over there. Which is interesting because this, as I said, this is whole the equivalent exchange, you know, the whole thing, uh, or the law of conservation of mass, you could say as well, or the law of conservation of energy, anything, any of this, you know, like uh, things cannot be created or destroyed. It can only, like, you know, be changed from one form to another, or equivalent exchange, as they say, like, you know, like you cannot, like, you know, create something from nothing. You have to sacrifice something of equal value to get that. So basically, that his um, coffee jelly was 3000 yen and the ball in itself was like a, like you know like uh, like autographed and everything it, it almost like you know it's like worth 3000 yen and so there you go the coffee jelly got replaced and uh, psyche is like all right fine you know like this coffee jelly i can buy it some other time as well this doesn't have any emotional attachment but this ball it was something that whole held an emotional attachment for the kid so yeah i'm happy with my decision and finally by the end of it it does like you know uh what do you call it pay somehow this whole thing uh works in a good way because that kid brought three coffee jellos for him the premium ones and uh, his, not the kid but his parents and uh, not parents the elder sister okay uh brought these for the, for psyche and uh, psyche is like ah like perfect you know what what goes around comes back around and sometimes it's for the better <laughs> like he did something good he got way more of a good deal than he even thought he would 
So it's it's always it always pays off to be a nice person. That was the moral. Okay, so that was that. The next part, oh god, this whole fortune telling thing is going on, and uh, like as always, you know, like um, everyone's talking about it, and uh, oh, <laughs> uh, you may have was talking about how. <laughs> You know that the the fortune teller lady told her to break up while the guy, you know, the fortune teller uh, lady, uh, uh, the fortune teller lady told him to that everything will be fine. So basically, contradictions. So yeah, the the, the person who was doing this was a fraud, obviously. So <laughs> at first, Kaido was like, "Oh, like these are all just you know, like stuff. Like I don't believe in." So yeah, and uh, he. He's like, yeah, I'm not going to go there. But in the end, he ends up going there because he thinks like if it's really true, then the dark reunion is going to target that person. So he's like, all right, I am the only person who can save this fortune teller person. So he goes there <laughs> to figure out what was happening. And Psyche obviously wasn't able to like, you know, leave him alone. So <laughs> he goes in and oh my God, this lady's name is Mikiko, Mikiko Clairvoyance. That's just so to the point. Ah, oh, that's fantastic. So she, wow, she is like, I feel like she was able to guess from Kaido's bandage, you know, the bandage and everything and the way he was wearing his clothes and all. The first thing he, she says is like, oh, I feel like you are not an ordinary human. And she made like a good educated guess by looking at him that he he was like a chunibyo so and it worked and i feel like if it did not work she would have probably changed the tune and said something else like that's how most uh, fraud fortune tellers do stuff you know they just look at you they study you and they like you know try like bring stuff up one by other and keep an eyes on your uh like, you know your, your eye movements and everything how you react to it and if like you know, they, they, if they are able to see that yeah, there is a change in your expression and all, they kind of go along with it, and uh, yeah, and obviously Kaido here, she is very easily like he's very gullible, and if if someone just brings up something like this, like you know the dark reunion and stuff like this, he's going to be very you know happy about it, so he won't his head won't work properly. So so this lady was like ah like you know easy target. <laughs> So she just starts saying like random words and she's like, oh, you are, you must be, you know, having trouble with, at first she was like trouble with girls and then she was like studies and then she was like friends, like which are basically, you know, the, the most common things that people have trouble with. That's why they go to fortune tellers. It was just, she was just, just putting one after the other. And as soon as she said friends, Kaido's expression changed and she's like, yeah, that, that is the one. <laughs> so oh my god so uh, basically Kaido wanted friends but he was like <laughs> he's like I'm used to fighting but something I sometimes I think about my life I live in solitude I don't have anyone I can call a I mean comrade and she just keeps telling these and Psyche's like you just want friends dude <laughs> that's basically what you want Oh my god. And the lady does say a little good stuff. She just does say like, oh, you're doing this wrong. You're not supposed to make friends like this, this and that. So Psyche was like, ah, maybe I was wrong, you know, about this lady. But then she brings out the necklace. <laughs> She's like, 30,000 yen for this. And Psyche is like, yeah, like, what the hell? And Psyche was going to go away because he's like, ah, I'm not like involving myself in this. But when he was leaving, Ka Kaido said something like, oh, will I be able to make friends with Psyche as well? And as we know, like, you know, Psyche, as soon as he gets involved in something, he, he cannot, like, you know, stay neutral. He doesn't stay neutral. He has to get involved in it because he's involved now. So he just stops. He's like, yep, now I'll have to get involved in this. Like, I cannot let Kaido get scammed, you know, because of, like, you know, like his thought process of, yeah, I want to make friends with uh, psyche like if like and i cannot do that like that in itself is yeah it's, it's a weird feeling you know like he wants to make friends with you that's why he's getting scammed and you are just looking at it you know like yeah and it doesn't sit well with i doubt anyone 
So he's like, obviously, like, you know, like, I have to get involved now. So he goes, like, you know, Kaido goes after buying it. And Psyche gets in. And Sa I don't know what the hell Psyche showed this lady. She comes running and she's like, oh, my God, you were correct. <laughs> All the things you said were true. There you go. Here's the money. I'm going away. <laughs> and she leaves. <laughs> she doesn't even take, oh, God. Oh, take the necklace with her. And Psyche was able to go, like, kind of just was leave, but then, like, Nendo comes in and grabs him. <laughs> and Kaido sees Psyche. Now, interesting thing that Nendo says here. Nendo's like, not Nendo, sorry, uh, Kaido says here. Kaido's like, wait, so this, this necklace did work. And funnily enough, yeah, I guess it did work, didn't it? Like, you know, like, because of the necklace, yeah, Psyche is now your... Uh, even better friend you she was your friend from the beginning but he's now even your better friend so if you think of it like that i guess the necklace did work you know <laughs> all right okay the next one was teruhashi oh my god that was hilarious teruhashi meets psyche uh, nendo and <laughs> kaido <laughs> the way they change like everyone just gets smitten <laughs> Kaido and Nendo completely changed his facial expression, the way he talks, all of that changed. <laughs> While Kaido he was even able to, like, you know, like, was ready to actually give up his Junivio for, for Teruhashi. And, <laughs> like, it's like, what the hell? But Teruhashi's like, yeah, look at these people. They are so smitten with me. You know, the 7 billion people in the world are just, like, you know. But why is, <laughs> why is Psyche not? And she's like, all right, this time I'm going to win. So she goes with them to the ramen place. And <laughs> this, this thing was kind of hilarious, you know, because like weird stuff actually happened. First of all, um, Psyche thinks that the, the ramen place was completely like, like almost like, you know, falling down and everything. It was just like, you know, like an abandoned place. And Psyche was like, all right, so obviously... Teruhashi is going to see this and Teruhashi is going to think that oh this is bad I'm going to leave and she's going to leave and seeing that Nendo and um, Kaido would be like oh they she is like you know way too fussy about this you know like she's not like us commoners so yeah likability will go down that was what Psyche was thinking the funny thing here is complete reverse happened <laughs> Teruhashi did want to get out of there but Kaido says like, oh, what the hell? Like, you know, this place, how, how dare you bring Teruhashi to a place like this? And though, uh, do you think Teruhashi would be able to be here? And listening to that, Teruhashi was like, oh no, I have to like act my, like, you know, like my, uh, like, you know, my persona. I have to like, you know, just act like that. And so she was like, oh, it's fine. No problem. I, I, I can handle this. And, you know, to be more likable. And so the complete reverse happened that Psyche thought. They go in and, uh, oh my god, <laughs> Teruhashi's freaking out. The, 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 the owner comes in, the owner looks disgusting, you know, like he has like, he's sweaty, he's like, you know, it's like, I don't know, like stuff is like, you know, like in his hand and his head, like, you know, it's like, it's weird. Like, you know, he, he, he looks extremely unhygienic and yeah, like his clothes are dirty, his things like it's, it's just yeah so and <laughs> he brings out the ramen the ramen is disgusting and Teruhashi like you know trying to play her role of being the nice girl she was like ah it's fine he eats it and both of them were actually disgusted with that so their likability went down which is kind of funny because Teruhashi tried to do this to increase her likability but it worked different way. Like that's why they say don't go too far into something. You know, Teruhashi went so far down the like you know like path of ah like you know I should be the prim proper girl and I should be the person who like you know like uh, what do you call it uh, who should be fine with everything. She went so deep in that that she actually made the other two uncomfortable. They were like, what the hell? You can eat this? Why are you even eating this? Even Nendo was like, what the hell is this owner? Like, you know, and uh, Teruhashi, like, you know, the likability just went down. <laughs> but, you know, the interesting thing here, Saiki's likability went up because 
he's like oh she is so committed to her thing that she can even like you know go this far down the lane and that's why that actually brought a bit of respect from psyche and uh, in a way i guess it did ended up working for teruhashi's favor because teruhashi's main goal was to introduce her likability to her psyche so yeah that did happen so yeah mission was successful i guess all right the next part uh reita he talks about how ghosts are not scary you know that much because they are very kind people they always help him out like you know like he's like going to school he's like oh you ghost you know person there you know can you tell me if and they're doing you know, like a, a, a search like they're searching your bags in the school and they're like oh no it's not they're not doing something like that or something like that he said and just you know able to get these information and as he says information rules the world uh, but the ghosts are nice they don't actually like you know do those bad things for example peeking you know underneath clothes and stuff so yeah they don't do that so uh, like reita is like yeah i cannot do those things but for these things i can do so he he's like oh it's, it's a really good life you know these are like a special talent that god gave me so yeah i'm going to use it uh, like as much as i want to he goes to school and there's like those girls and he's like oh like you want to listen to what guardian spirits you have and he talks about all of that and the girls talk about how there's like one of the clothes got missing and uh <laughs> reta's like okay this is my time to shine if i'm able to catch the thief i'll become famous and everyone will just fuss about me even more so he takes like you know he, he asks one of the ghosts and he gets his information follows that guy and the, the ghost from before comes in and he's, he's his guardian spirit and he's like please like you know let let this guy go and um, <laughs> oh my god and uh, reta's like oh no i cannot do this again this is my duty to stop him and he like keeps yabbling about all of this stuff he gets in and the guy like you know just like you know, this since uh, reta took too, too much time outside he somehow ran away and the clothes were there and the girls come and just catch him red-handed and slaps him <laughs> and yeah the, the the guardian spirit was like oh thank you so much for saving my 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 like, the person i am the guardian spirit of and yeah that was funny and the final section where um oh boy psyche wakes up he thinks that he has lost his power because nothing is happening he's punching stuff and anything and nothing is happening but then like an explosion happens and he realizes that it was a dream and then he talks about how this is like a pre-recognition or like you know looking into the future and these things happen all the time no, not all the time but few times and whenever it happens whatever he sees comes true and he's like i'm not doing this for other people but i'm going to involve getting involved in these things so i'm doing it for me and he goes there and he like you know kind of tries to stop the explosion now you know what i have to say something here i've seen this thing about psyche where he always tries to justify the the way like you know he helps people whenever he helps people he tries to justify it some way and say that oh this is not for them this is for me but i feel like in the future then an episode might come where i don't know he like you know like i at least think that that's just a justification he comes up with he himself wants to help people he himself is kind-hearted and like you know like go like you know goes to the extra length to help other people but he doesn't actually admit it you know he he tries to find out a justification and somehow tries to say that oh this is actually for me but that's actually not the case here he definitely is kind-hearted and wants to help people like i've seen this i've seen before episodes as well he always tries to say something in the end and say tries to justify whatever he does by saying that oh this is for me but i don't know i feel like yeah in the future maybe there an episode will come when he himself will realize that yeah i myself want to help people it's i'm not only doing this for me but it's i'm, I'm doing this for other people I'm, I'm trying to help them or something like that maybe i don't know but anyways he he goes to the uh the gas station and oh my god the whole domino effect comes into play here like a random high schooler girl <laughs> there's like a rock strips on the rock the rock goes and hits like the driver whose power window was coming down 
he like you know pushes the accelerator <laughs> it goes and like you know he hits the the petrol the petrol leaks and the girl who's like you know just fallen down like a scooter guy comes in gets distracted flips on the petrol crashes into the petrol pump and the whole thing blows up full on domino effect <laughs> as psyche says even if one of those things never happened you know like if if the guy had like some superhuman reflexes if he was like jojo or something you know he could have easily <laughs> easily stopped the <laughs> easily stopped the, the rock and nothing like this would have happened or if something else happened uh, you know like if, if the guy girl had like a full-on like you know like mm, trousers or whatever you know like it could have been stopped but this is the domino effect or the butterfly effect you could say as well i guess somehow um and uh, this ended up happening so now psyche says all of this and he just like you know kind of moves a rock and nothing of of those sort happens and he's like oh christ is averted throws the rock away and oh boy starts another domino effect where it hits nendo nendo thinks it's from a meteor he goes to school while on the other side <laughs> Hiro brought some gasoline and he just kept it outside because the teacher told him to. The rock, which was like Nendo thought was a meteor, he gives it to Kaido. Kaido throws it away. It, I think it hits the... No, it falls in the locker, like hallway. The green-haired guy trips on it. It goes and hits the... The... The, the, the light. Electrical discharge happens. The... the the gasoline you know, is falling down because the guy tripped. And yeah, it was almost going to completely destroy the school. Like burn the school down. But since Psyche was able to see that, he stopped it. So yeah. So this is the interesting thing. He cannot actually stop the thing from happening. You know, the 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 starting trigger is obviously going to happen, but he can actually prevent it. The starting trigger always happened. For example, the starting trigger was Psyche throwing the rock. So that happened, but he was able to see through his recognition that this is actually a dangerous situation. So even though the trigger started, he was able to stop it from the dangerous thing to happen. So in the end, it did work out. And he was able to save everyone and that's where it ends so yeah that was fun fun so wow that was these two episodes were really good and uh, yeah that was interesting so that's it thanks for watching guys this was my reaction to psyche so no sign on episode number five and six if you guys enjoyed this video be sure to press the like button subscribe if you're new to the channel or you haven't subscribed comment down below anything you want to say anything you want to let me know and i'll check them out and uh, that's it. Thanks for watching, guys. I will see you guys next week with two more episodes of Psyche Kuzono Sign Up. Until then, goodbye and have a nice day.